Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel series. In this video, I am going to discuss about CCMD 2023 refund policy. First of all, here you can see whatever the registration fee you are going to pay is not at all refundable and also non adjustable towards the fee of the allotted institution. Okay. And also, here you can see another thing that is adjustment of the seat acceptance fee and participation fee. Like whatever the seat acceptance fee and also partial admission fee you are going to deposit during the regular rounds, it should be adjusted in the institute fee. That means whatever the institute fees you are going to pay, like the seat acceptance fee and partial admission fee comes under the institute fee only after allotment of the final institute. Okay. And also, for example, if you want to participate along with the normal rounds like you are not satisfied with the seat and you are want to participate in the special rounds then whatever the seat acceptance fee or partial admission fee you have paid in the regular rounds it should be adjusted as the special round participation fee okay like directly if you want to participate in special round participation then the fees is different like should be 40,000 or thing like if you want to uh, proceed from normal rounds to special rounds then the whatever the seat acceptance fee or partial admission fee you have paid it should be adjusted as a special round participation fee okay and if the amount is not at all meeting the special round participation fee the remaining amount also you have to pay during the special round registration okay and also you have you can see participation fee collected during the registration of special round also will be adjusted towards the institute fee Okay, this is the participation fee, seat acceptance fee, partial admission fee. Everything is like adjusted towards the final institute fee. Only the registration fee, it is not at all adjustable and it is not at all refundable. Okay, please keep this in mind. And next thing, rules for refund of seat acceptance fee paid in regular rounds. Okay, after depositing the seat acceptance fee in regular rounds, like if anything arises, like if the candidate does not upload the required documents or discrepancy raised and also you are not like you are not clear the discrepancy for uh, after successful online document verification and cadence, candidate does not report at the allotted institute. If any of these things happens, in all such cases, the seat will be cancelled and seat acceptance fee will be refunded after deducting processing fee of 1000 rupees. That means whatever the seat acceptance fee you have paid, like 1000 rupees, it should be deducted and remaining amount is deposited in your account. Okay, please keep this in mind. And also after depositing the seat acceptance fee in regular rounds and successful document verification. Okay, and everything is good and also document verification also down and also you got seat. But if you click on surrender and participate in the next round, okay, like you, I already explained about surrender and participate and next round regarding the freeze float uh, and also in that video only, I have explained clearly, okay. If you have not yet watched that video, please go through that video. I explained about this surrender and participate in the next round. Surrender and participate is nothing but you are leaving that whatever the seat you got, like I don't want this seat and I want to participate freshly in the upcoming rounds okay and if you click on this option after that there is no seat allotted in the subsequent rounds like unfortunately if there, no, there is not at all seat allotted in the subsequent rounds then the candidate does not participate in the special round and also you have not participated in the special rounds also then the seat acceptance will be refunded after deducting passing the fee of 1000 rupees okay same as like that I already explained like whatever the passing fee also before a similar way you are going to get the seat acceptance fee and another case like after depositing the seat acceptance fee in regular rounds if the candidates withdraws like you are withdrawing from the counseling then the refunded like whatever the seat acceptance fee it should be refunded after deducting passing fee of 1000 rupees okay i am explaining each and every case please listen carefully for example if you want to withdraw from the counseling and don't scare that like whatever the seat acceptance fee I have paid, it should not be refundable or don't uh, feel like that, should be refundable if you withdraw from this counseling. 
until and unless if you are not joining only you will get the whatever the fees you have paid during counseling okay next thing like after depositing the ct acceptance fee in regular rounds and successful online document verification is also done and also the candidate does not pay partial admission fee on the ccmt portal then the ct acceptance fee will be refunded after deducting passing fee of rupees 2000 rupees here okay that means you got ct in like in regular round one and you have paid ct acceptance fee but after like the round two you have to pay that partial admission fee but you have not paid that partial admission fee then this processing fee of 2000 rupees is deducted from the ct acceptance fee and remaining amount is going to be deposited in your accounts okay this is regarding the regular rounds now let us discuss about special round like special rounds rules for refund of participation fee during the registration of special rounds if no ct is allotted to the candidate in any of the special rounds the participation fee will be refunded without any deduction okay for example if you are participating directly in the special round and you you are not got any seats in any round then whatever the participation fee you have paid during the special round total amount without any deduction you are going to get into your account and also please note that receipts retained from regular rounds will be treated as seats allotted in special rounds okay that i already told like if you are participating freshly in the special round without participating in regular rounds at that time if you don't get seat only full amount will be refunded for example if you participated in the regular rounds and you got seat and you retained that seat and participated in the special round then it should not be treated as freshly participation and you are not going to get full refund if you withdraw from the counseling okay if no seat is allotted in candidate in special round 1 and the candidate exceeds withdrawal from the special round 1 from further counseling process the participation fee will be refunded after deducting passing fee of rupees 2000 okay for example if you real get any seats in special round 1 you want to withdraw from the counseling before participating in special round 2 then whatever the participation fee you have paid 2000 rupees will be deducted and remaining amount will be added into your account okay and next thing after allotment of seat in special round 1 like after allotment of seat in special round you got seat in a special round if the candidate does not update the document required for discrepancy or anything any problem in all such cases deduction of 2000 rupees will be cut and also remaining amount will be added to your account Also, after allotment of seat in special round one and successful document verification, and if the candidate select the like you got seat in the round one and you document verification also done, everything is good. But you click on surrender and participate in the next round. That means you do, you are not required any seat, and you are clicking on that option. And no seat is allotted in the special round two. Then special round participation fee will be refunded after deducting two thousand rupees. Okay. please fill like the options carefully and also click on the options carefully like if you click on surrender and participate in the next round that means you are leaving that seat and you are participating freshly without retaining any seat okay I explained about surrender and participate fees float slide everything in the video like if you have not yet watched that video please go through that video so that it will be clear for you and also other thing you can see after allotment of seat in special round one and successful document verification also done if the candidate withdraws in special round one the special round participation fee will be refunded after deducting passing of 2000 rupees okay here passing fee is 2000 rupees in like special round and in normal regular round it is 1000 rupees in most of the cases i am saying okay and also other cases you can see after allotment of seat in special round two like whatever the seat you, you get in special round 2 no refund will be made to the candidate the participation fee and seat acceptance fee paid will be transferred to the finally allotted institute okay this is very very important point for example if you get seat in special round 2 then ccmt is not responsible for the refund of the amount 
like if you want to withdraw from the counseling after special round 2 seat allotment then the fee will be acceptance fee will be transferred to the finally allotted institute for example you got nid surat or nid any something college the final amount will be directly transferred to that college then you have to contact that college or you have to contact through mail anything and you have to get the refund okay so in special round 2 if you get seat then it should be somewhat risky to get withdraw from the counseling so please keep this in mind and also participate in the special round 1 and 2 okay this is regarding ccmp 2023 refund policy okay if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section so that i will clear your doubts and also thank you for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you never miss the updates thank you